All right, guys, so this is for the test tomorrow. Um, so let's go over some of these. Here, this is our exponent property, so I have a monomial times a monomial, so I'm gonna multiply the numbers first, which would give me negative 16. And in this case, I'm gonna add the exponents. So I'm gonna add exponents. So I have a2 and a3 would give me a5, and b5 and b2 would give me b7. And I can't do anything else with that, so that's my answer. Number two, 28 divided by four is seven, and then here in this case, I'm going to subtract exponents. So I have u negative two minus two and v three minus two. So that would be u, sorry, seven, u negative four, v one, and we never leave negative exponents in our answer. So in this case, I wanna move that u four to the bottom. Uh, number three, I'm going to distribute this negative two to all the pieces. Don't forget this five as well. So five negative two x. Now here, when I have an exponent to an exponent, I'm going to multiply exponents. So eight, I'm sorry, negative eight, and then y six. Again, no negative exponents. So I'm going to move those to the bottom. Y six over five squared x to the eighth, and five squared is twenty five. So there's my answer. Okay, number four, same scenario. Distribute the three. So three to the third, a to the sixth, b to the 18th, which would be 27, a six, b 18. Number five, you can put that in your calculator. If it gives you a decimal answer though, put it into fraction form. You press math, enter, enter. Anything to the zero power is one, so that's gone. In order to make that positive, I would move it to the bottom, and then it would become 1 over 9. And number 6, let's subtract. So I have x, 5 minus 1, y, 4 minus 5, which would give me x to the 4th, y to the negative 1, and then I want to make this positive, so I'm going to move it to the bottom. Okay, uh, expanded form, you just write it out with the exponent. So this negative doesn't have an exponent, so it stays. I have two of these and I have three of these. And number eight, I have five, so just write it out five times. Okay, number nine, name the degree of the polynomial. So this is a monomial, it's the highest degree, so eight. This one's also a monomial. In this case, I add the exponents, 13. So the difference between like 10 and 12, here I have four separate terms. So I take the highest one. Here I have one term, because they're all multiplied, I add the exponents. Number nine, my degree is zero, which we wanna use the word constant. Be careful here, a lot of people think it's one, but one would have to be a nine x. Okay, then I have an x to the first, and that would be linear. In this case, I have like an x to the zero, so it's constant. And number 12, my highest degree is three, which is cubic. Okay, number 13, name by degree and number of terms. My highest degree is 1, so this is a linear, and I have two terms, binomial. Number 14, my highest degree is 4, which is quartic, and I have 1, 2, 3 terms, so trinomial. Number 15, my degree is 3, so cubic, and I just have one term, so cubic monomial. And number 16, my highest degree is five, which is quintic. And I have one, two, three, four, five terms, so I just say five term polynomial. Okay, number 17, add or subtract the polynomials, write your answer in standard form. So addition, you just combine like terms. So start with your highest degree. I've got a y to the fourth, nothing else. I don't have a y cubed, so then I have y squared minus y squared, that's gone. I have a three y plus a five y is eight y, and then I have negative eight plus three is negative five. Now number 18, I'm gonna distribute the negative. So everything here stays the same. This becomes minus seven x to the third minus three x minus seven. So I get negative x to the third 
minus 6x and then make minus 5. Oops, that's a negative. Same with 19. Let's distribute the negative. So minus x to the third plus x squared plus 1. So I get 4x to the fourth minus x to the third plus 2x squared plus 1. Uh, number 20, let's distribute first. So I'm going to distribute this 3x here, here, and here. So 18x to the third plus 27x squared y minus 36x to the third y squared. And then I distribute this one. Minus 16x to the third. Oops. Minus 8x squared y plus 24. Holy moly, this is big. x to the third y squared. Okay, so look carefully for what you can combine. I've got an 18x to the third minus 16, so 2x to the third. Then I have 27x squared y minus 8x squared y, so plus 19x squared y, and negative 36 plus 24, so negative 12x to the third y squared. Okay, 21, multiply the polynomials. So this is just a lot of distributing here. I'm going to do the x squared first to all of these. So I get x to the fourth minus x to the third plus x squared. Now I'll do the 3x. Plus 3x to the third minus 3x squared plus 3x. And then I'll do the negative 5 last. Minus 5x squared plus 5x minus 5. And I'll combine like terms. So x to the fourth plus 2x to the third minus 7x squared plus 8x minus 5. Okay, 22. Think of expanded form here. Write this out three times. x minus 4, x minus 4, x minus 4. Okay, let's just pick two of them to multiply together first. It doesn't matter what you pick. Uh, I'll do these two. That would be x squared minus 4x minus 4x plus 16, which would be x squared minus 8x plus 16. And I need to multiply that with this x minus 4. So I'll multiply the x all of them first. So x to the third minus 8x squared plus 16x. And then the negative 4, x squared plus 32x minus 64. So I get x to the third minus 12x squared plus 48x minus 64. Twenty-three is just distributing, so fourteen x to the fourth plus twenty-one x to the third. Twenty-four is write this out two times, and then FOIL. So four x squared minus six x minus six x plus nine. Four x squared minus twelve x plus nine. Another foiling one. Three x squared minus four x plus six x minus eight should be 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. And then distribute here. So 15x to the 5th minus 6x to the 4th plus 3x squared. Okay, 27. You're dividing by a monomial, so you just divide each piece by the 3x. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. Subtract exponents here would be x. And then these x's cancel, and I just get 3x minus 6. And same thing here, divide 15x to the third by all of them. So I get 2 fifths x squared minus 1 third, those cancel, plus 3 over x squared. Okay, divide using long division. So 5x plus 10. Don't forget to look for a placeholder. So this one's missing the x squared, so I need to throw that in there. All right, so what times 5x gives me 25x to the third would be 5x squared. And now I multiply 5x squared by both of these. 25x to the third plus 50x squared. So minus minus, and then do it again. What times 5 gives me negative 50? Negative 10x 
multiply again, negative 50x squared minus 100x, change my signs, and drop the 40. And then one last time, what, does, what times 5x gives me 130 would be 26. And then multiply. So I get 130x plus 260. Change your signs. Negative 220. So my answer, 5x squared minus 10x plus 26 plus negative 220 over 5x plus 10. And number 30, x plus 2 on the outside, 2x squared plus 10x plus 8. So what times x gives me 2x squared would be 2x and multiply. Change the signs, 6x plus 8. What times x gives me 6x is a 6. Minus, minus, negative 4. So I get 2x plus 6 plus negative 4 over x. Synthetic division, remember in the box always goes opposite of this number, so negative 2, and be careful because this one skips a turn. So I have 3, negative 1, 0, 5, negative 1. Drop the first term and multiply. 3 times negative 2, negative 6. Add, multiply, negative 7 times negative 2. Add, multiply, 14 times negative 2, negative 28. Add, negative 23. Multiply, negative 23 by negative 2. Uh, 46 and add, I get 45. Remember, this is our remainder. If I start with x to the fourth, I drop an x off of that. So I get 3x to the third minus 7x squared plus 14x minus 23 plus 45 over x plus 2. Okay, negative 1 goes in the box, opposite of this, and I have 1, 5, and 6. Drop the 1, multiply, 1 times negative 1, add, you get 4, multiply, negative 4, and add, you get 2. There's our remainder. So I started with x squared, drop an x off that, so I start with x plus 4 plus 2 over x plus 1. Okay, 33. Uh, don't get thrown off by this. Think of Area is length times width. So let's say I gave you area is 36 and length is 2. Well, if I asked you to solve for the length, you would just divide. Okay, that's all that's happening here. They're giving you an area. It's a polynomial. They're giving you the width. So you're just dividing. Uh, you could use long or synthetic here, whichever one you like. I like synthetic, so I'm going to do synthetic. So in the box goes opposite of this, so negative 1. And then my coefficients, 4 negative 5. It skips the x term, so I'm going to put a 0 in, and then a 3. So drop the 4, negative 4, negative 9, multiply, negative 9, and then that would be negative 6. So there's my remainder. So 4x squared minus 9x plus 9 plus negative 6 over x plus And then the last one, find the volume. We've done some of these before, but we're just going to multiply length times width times height. Okay, you can multiply these two first or these two first, but the x does not go to both parentheses. So I'm going to distribute this so I get x squared minus 2x. And now I'll FOIL those. So x to the third plus 3x squared minus 2x squared minus 6x. So volume equals x cubed plus x squared minus 6x. Okay, I know I went kind of fast, but remember, you can go back and look at this, pause the video if you need to, rewatch it. Don't forget all my other videos are on the calendar too. So like if you're just stuck on long division, go back and watch long division. If you're just stuck on synthetic division, go back and watch synthetic division. But I hope this helps.